What's up, beautiful people? I'm Erin, and this is Erin on Demand. Have y'all ever wondered how people are sending these automatic DMs when they tell you to comment something and they'll DM you? So, for example, if you see an Instagram reel and they're using a water bottle and you're like, ooh, I like this water bottle, and they say, comment water bottle and I'll send you the link. And so you say, link. And then in your DMs, you get a link magically, automatically. This is all happening with an app called MiniChat. And MiniChat is sponsoring this video, but it's crazy because let me tell you how God works. A few weeks after I had heard about MiniChat and started using it and integrating it, they had actually reached out. I was already gonna tell y'all about this because the way that this has completely changed my content marketing system is insane. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you why saying link in bio is totally dead now. Give you a tutorial on how to set up mini chat. The automation setup is so simple. And I'm also gonna share with you some results that I have gotten from using mini chat a lot. I'm talking increased money i'm talking increased engagement let's get into it on average the click-through rate for lincoln bio is one percent i mean that's better than zero however it's not as good as 46 percent which is the click-through rate when you actually dm someone a link now this is huge because if you are using instagram to share your business market or sell something you're gonna see a big uptick in your conversions and how many sales you're able to drive in your engagement because you are making it way more convenient for the person on the other end so with link in bio they have to click on your profile click on the link in your bio god forbid it's a multi-linked link like link tree and now they have to find the link of what you're talking about then they're taken out of instagram onto another platform and it's just it's just a mess with this you're able to just directly send them what they specifically are asking for so when someone comments that's actually them starting a conversation that's being then taken into your dms and the potential of them converting is a lot higher not only because it's more convenient but because this is an opportunity for them to even ask you questions about the product they feel more connected to you because of how they've received this information think of it as every comment being a conversation starter and every conversation being a potential sale so let's get into the tutorial i'm going to share with you what mini chat looks like and then we're going to make an automation when you open up mini chat this is what it's going to look like extremely user friendly and they have tons of templates for you to pick what automation you want to set up and it does all of the hard work for you. So you can see here, convert your Instagram comments into sales. That's the one I'm gonna share with you how to do. Click set up template. And they're, they're really good about helping you in having these little tutorials on all of the automations, which is nice. So let's set it up. It's just a two part automation, very straightforward. So when user comments on your Instagram post or reel, we're gonna set up this new trigger. So any post or reel, you can change that to specific post or reel. If you have pro, you can do next post or reel or any post or reel. You use any if you're gonna run the same automation over and over again. So let's say you sell an ebook or a checklist or have a free checklist and you're constantly pushing people to that, then you can use that and it'll just be an automation for any time they comment that on any post. I typically do specific posts or reel, and then you can set the select the publication. Now, if you do specific posts or reel, you will have to post the post, and I would recommend having this setup already ready so that once you select the publication, you can set live and you don't have to create the entire automation after the post has already gone live. It's just a quick way to do it. Like you can set it live almost right after the post goes up. But you're gonna select the publication. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna do an old one. And then you are going to make sure that comment contains specific words. And you can change this to whatever you want. So I'm gonna say 
top three. If it's a complex word, then I would put it a, a couple different ways. It doesn't matter if it's upper or lowercase, but that spacing could make a difference. So if someone potentially might not put the space, it'll still send to them. Or if you have wait list as one, you might wanna put wait space list just to be safe in case people fall through the cracks if they send the e the word the wrong way it will not send them the automation so it's good to make sure you have all of those in place and then um i like to turn on public auto response and feed this just helps it feel less like an automation so you can actually reply when people comment top three i can like reply to them so i might say sent i'll add another one that says you're gonna love this and then maybe one more that says check your dms and you can even add emojis in there making it sound as much like yourself as possible and i like to do multiple you don't have to do three but this is just how i do it to make it feel more personable and then you're just gonna save now once it's saved you're gonna have to set up the response so i like to make my responses a bit more personal i feel like this helps create more conversation in DMs. It makes them excited to actually buy the product because you gotta think, somebody might not see this right after they've commented that. They might not look at their DMs right away. So it's nice to jar their memory with something about what the post was about. Hey, hey, here's the top three notebook link you commented i'm such a procrastinator and this is literally the only planner i've ever finished and then make some type of urgency they're usually sold out but looks like they're on sale right now hope you love I don't try to make it too salesy, but you do want to secure the sale in the DM. Make this still seem appealing. I personally feel like the DM is where uh, it has helped my conversion rate be really high. And also, I like to include a, the word that they typed in early on in the message. You can very well just say, hey, hey, here's the top three notebook link you commented for. And you don't have to say any of this and just add the link. But I just think, why not? Like, why not? use that opportunity to push it a little bit more to see if they're actually like about that life you know okay so button title you can change the button title top three i like to add an emoji it makes the button easier to just gravitate to and then you're just gonna paste the link for the sake of this i'm just gonna keep this link here but you would paste whatever product link or whatever link you're linking to now if you are linking to a product post the direct link do not post the link to the store it's sold at or even if it's your own product and you have a shopify store i would recommend posting the specific link to that product the goal is to get them to check out as quickly as possible and if they're interested the nine times out of ten you don't want to give them too many opportunities to tap around and to get distracted and to you know pretty much make you know overthink the sale so put the direct Direct link to the actual product or whatever it is you're trying to get them to buy in the URL and then click done now like I said if you don't have pro you're gonna have to set all of this up first and then when you go back into your win and change publication you'll see once you post it onto Instagram you will see your new post pop up you can hurry up and click that and set it live so that way it's going live pretty much immediately once you've posted that. So it is a little bit of upfront setup, but after that you're completely done. And this is automatically sharing this link to whatever it is. It can be your LTK, it can be Amazon storefront links, it can be any type of commissionable links, it can be your own personal business links. So just a really powerful way to get your links into the right leads hands. So we're gonna go back out of here and look at some of the other automations that they have. So I'm just inside of automation and I click basic. 
Now this one is interesting. Story mention reply. Reply to users who mention you in a story. This is also really great for business. I really want to try this one so I'm going to click set up. Set up your story mention reply. Automatically send a DM when someone mentions your business in their story. So I could set this up for top three today and then if people mention top three I could spit them back a DM that says OMG thanks so much for the mention. Here's 10% off of your next purchase using the code story or mention or whatever you want that code to be you can set that as a one-time code up in your store however you want to set that up on the back end of the business side but this is just also a great way to get people excited to mention you in their Instagram stories and spread word about your business now since using mini chat I have used this to link Amazon products I've used it to link my own products and I can guarantee you I have seen a huge difference in how people just receive what I'm trying trying to promote it feels less salesy and also I've noticed that when people see a whole bunch of people have commented wanting something it makes them be like oh wait I think I should want this too like a thousand people have commented she has a thousand comments people wanting that one thing let me comment I need to see what this is about so it just kind of creates that desirability on top of the fact that it promotes engagement and the open rate is insane so you can see here that my very first one that I used this for was I shared a tripod link for your phone this one got 6187 comments now the comments are also including my own like responses those auto generated responses so maybe roughly about half of that I can also look in mini chat and see how many times that automation has been run which is 2950 with a 66.9 percent click-through rate which is insane so that video got 6,000 comments then I tried it again just to test it out. At this point, I'm like, okay, did this just luckily gain this much traction or is this just a thing? I tried it again with a timer that I love and that one got 15,194 comments. The automation ran 7,358 times, which wild right and then i tried it again with my own products this post got 112,000 likes i personally feel like with all the engagement it just also helps boost the the shareability or the reach of each post so this one got 8,397 comments and about almost 3,800 of those were automation sins. Like I've been doing this for a while and every single time it works like a charm. So I just have completely stopped sending people to my bio. I've noticed even in my Amazon associates, my conversion rate has gone from less than 1% to over 9% conversions. This is pretty much all I've been doing is sending them to my Amazon storefront using mini chat in DMs and it has worked like a charm. So I highly recommend you try this out. It is a simple setup for a long term payoff and I am so happy that I found out about mini chat and that they reached out for this partnership because it's just like it just makes sense. Also, ManyChat is an official Meta partner, so it's just comforting to know that they are approved by Meta and in full compliance. So like I said, ManyChat is like, it's that girl. Try it out, you can try it for free, or you can sign up for the pro version and get a few more features unlocked. I hope this video was helpful. All right, you guys, I love you. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.